guys god bless welcome back to my channel i am charlene and today i want to show you guys this particular video with mr pen's faith planner i'm just um i did an unboxing of this and i was about to use it and i said wait a minute i never came back on camera so this is what it looks like you know we've seen this give us each day our daily bread and Again, it's by Mr. Penn. It has the scripture and the printing again. And of course, you could do two from in your message. You have a blank space, which I would think would be for customization. You know, like it's really making it pretty, making it your own. Then you come in and you can use it as you wish. Um, what when I say as you wish, like, you know, fill in as you desire. It does have... Monday through Saturday, you put your date, it has the scripture, reflection, what does it show you about God, what difference does this passage make in your life, when you forget this, how does it affect you and all of your relationships, and then you can do a to-do list, um, which will be, I will assume faith-based, but I'm assuming it really doesn't matter, but in my mind, like I think about what things can I do faithfully, which I don't really, you know, I have a planner, but then I thought about it. I was like, you know what? I probably should just wait it and use this because I could actually, this is something that I pick up more so than the actual planner. So I don't know how, you know, I'm just like, oh, what to do, God? But anyway, because I don't want to mess up things, but here we are. Um, and then, of course, you can put additional notes. And what I really like today, I am thankful for. And then you just write it out here. So let's go to today's date. And I'm just going to demonstrate how this is being used. And the reason why it says Monday through Saturday, which is really cool, is because it has a Sunday sermon notes. I just thought that was really cool. You put the date, sermon notes, weekly goals, which um, I have a notebook for that. But again, I really like this. And I think this is God sent for sure. It's because I need to put everything all in once. And that's kind of what came to me the other day as I was clearing out my things. Like, if there's one space that you can put everything, then let that be it. And here I am. So, all right. So, today's scripture. Make sure. Yeah, that's the right one. Let's date it. Just want to use it for you guys so you can see. Today is Saturday. Today is the 21st of 23, January. And the scripture is, so then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone and especially to those who are of the household of faith. Galatians 6.10. All right, so then what I would normally do is go into my Bible. And I need to stop acting like I don't know what Galatians is. So the tabs are here for, it's like you get a habit of just flicking and then you say, oh, wait, I got tabs. All right, so Galatians 6. Let me just come so you guys can see. There we go. All right, 6 and 10, which, nope, it's not underlined or highlighted. So let me take care of that. Move this first. So I got my highlighters here. I'm just going to go over it. And it says here, so then, as we have an opportunity, let us do good to everyone and especially to those who are of the household of faith. So it looks like it's the same translation, which is good. Um, the ESV, um, if you want to switch it up, then you know that if this is ESV, then let your Bible be something else. But, you know, uniform is good. All right, so now that I got my verse highlighted, what, I'm going to bring it over so you guys can see. What does this teach you about how to care for others? Be kind. Um, use the fruit of the spirit. Simple, short, and sweet and to the point. When you think about the fruit of the spirit, gentleness, kindness, you know, long suffering, all these things, patience, um, you apply these to people in everyday life and you cannot go wrong. Um, oftentimes when we're in the heat of the moment, it's so hard like to hold on to patience when you're dealing with someone who's hard to deal with or with someone who's not being kind. Um, 
it's hard to give kindness, you know, but we have no excuse. Like we have scripture that tell us to love our enemies, which is the people that we think are including everyone, right? The mean people, the jerks, those who um, insult us or demean us or abuse us uh, verbally or emotionally. Like these people are all included, no matter how you label them. Here in particular, it says, let us do good to everyone and especially to those who are of the household of faith. So those who are considered themselves God's children, you know, because even if you judge and say, well, they don't act safe or they don't act holy or, or they don't act like they know God, then again, is children of God and enemies, only two groups. There's no in-between. So the Bible has prepared you no matter what the situation is and what the circumstance is. How does this change how you should live today? Um, be good to all who confess Christ be examples to those who don't believe which is important and let me explain there's people who have inquired about Christ and Jesus and God and Christianity based on how you treat others, or what you have done to them. Always walk in love. Always. How does this change the way you pray? This is big because naturally when people offend us, we, we God is our father. So we run to him and say, Lord, get this person or Lord, stop this person or Lord, you know, da da da, da. Um, I wonder if anyone has ever prayed to punish someone. Like, you think about how that sounds. Like, Lord, please punish this person for messing with me. But we go into the book of Psalms. David has said that all the time. Like, Lord, get rid of these people who mean me no good or people who harm me or attempt to kill me. Which, attempted to kill is far worse than, like, insulting or saying something to me right but the same token it's like i wonder do we ever bring that kind of mentality into our prayer life like lord these people they keep messing with me they keep bothering me and i hate them and i don't like them and i want you know i wonder how real are we you know just a thought but for me how does this change the way you pray i will have more grace and mercy for those who hurt me. All right. And then my to-do list, read the Bible, which I've done that. Um, plan out videos. Record a video. Um, clear space in phone, post a video. Okay, so I got that all planned out. And then notes here, you can do a continuation of this verse, which sometimes I do. Or um, if I've had something I read in my plans for today, I come over here and re-put that or reapply that. Or my verse for today on my phone. I come here and make my little notes. So down here, we have today I am thankful for my family. I am, excuse the kids. They playing the game, I think. I am thankful for good health. All right, so there you go. So... I can go on and on about being thankful, but you know, you guys, we've got a bunch of prayer journals and stuff, so I just, you know, but you have quite a good space. You can get two sentences there, and I even like the concept of how this is uh, simple and short and sweet because I often use this to get my mind going, so like this could be like the very first thing I do, and then I have that desire and urge to grab my Bible and to read deeper or to read more or to go into my actually reading plan for today. So that is really good. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna start using this to kind of put everything in here. And I think 
for the most part, I am ready to use the other planner to, you know, have a combination of a lot because I went through this week trying to do the dot journaling for my day and it did not work because I simply was trying to create a bunch of mental notes. But with this, I guess as far as faith wise, keep it consistent, keep it relevant here. And then any notes, anything else additional, um, maybe if God spoke to me or it applied to something I was praying about and then I can go on about it here. Or a lot of us like to do a lot of praying and writing. Maybe you ran out of room here and you can always come here. I've done that too. But yeah, so this is the faith planner for Mr. Penn once again. Like I said, I love it. I think it's wonderful. I definitely think it's worth the price. Um, the layout is beautiful. Like, look at this. This is pretty. I'm absolutely in love. Mr. Penn is outdoing themselves with their products. And it's Spiral. Who doesn't like Spiral? I love this. Like, it's easy. As you can see, I can put it inside my Bible. Whether um, this way or this way. Like, I love it. Thank you. Thank you again, Mr. Penn, for sending this out to me. I will try to remember to link this faith planner down below from Amazon. And yes, so you guys know I don't really advocate for too many things because I don't want to want to become bored or obsessed with me. But again, I truly feel like since I've been weaving out things and throwing things away, that this is an answer prayer. Like I got my scripture for today, got my reflection, I got my notes, I got my to-do list, and I got my prayer love it and as i show you guys your sunday sermon notes which i'm backwards here but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go backwards because i want to utilize what i got because i think i messed up my i didn't use any of them yet but it does seem like either i didn't pay attention to one or something or i skipped today maybe that's what i did and skip the space. So, sign the sermon here. So, I will go back one and I will do this and use this for tomorrow, Lord willing. And then I will probably post this so you guys see what it looks like. And we're having church in our own church tomorrow. So, that is easy. Because he actually gives scripture and notes and points. So, that's what a blank one looks like. And then, this is what one looks like for your day. So, tell me what you guys think. I love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.